Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and I'm talking really quietly because it's actually 3.30 in the morning here, and I don't have to talk quietly. My neighbors can't hear me, and I'm by myself, but I just figured at 3.30 in the morning I shouldn't be yelling. Anyway, I just got finished shooting an audition for a television show, and it's 3.30 in the morning, and it occurred to me that the reason that I could do it, either at 3.30 in the morning or 3.30 in the afternoon or any other time I want, is be because specifically because of agility. And agility comes from not only having great training and being able to use that training whenever you want to, but it also comes from having everything set up so that you just can do the work. And in particular, what I'm talking about is when you're doing voiceover work, when you're doing on-camera work, when you're doing auditions, when you're doing production. Um, a lot of people do uh, double duty with their, with their workspace, right? And they don't have everything set up to go immediately. But in my case, you know, I, I have a room dedicated to doing my audio work. And I have a room dedicated to doing on-camera auditions as well. All my equipment is set up. I actually have permanent lighting in the ceiling, and uh, all I have to do is go in, flip one switch, and everything is ready to go. And that affords me something that I think is valuable not only to me, but also could be valuable to you. And that is the, uh, the idea that if you increase your agility, you can increase your productivity and decrease your stress. And that's a big, powerful, valuable thing to have. It doesn't mean you have to keep your equipment set up all the time. It just means you have to have it in a situation where you just sort of move it into place. You can have it set up all the time, but you don't have to. My point is, if every single time you have to get set up to do a, a voiceover audition or an on-camera audition or any type of work, you know, a blog post or a video production like this, if you can't just sit down or stand there and do it with minimal effort, then it becomes a bigger and bigger speed bump to actually getting it done. The reason I did it at 3.30 in the morning is because I was working on a project that I needed to see through until like 2.30, 2.45, something like that. And then I took care of this, and this will be the last thing I do before I go to sleep. Sometimes I stay up this late. But the idea was that I knew that when I was done with the project that I've been working on since 8 o'clock last night, I would just have to go down and do the work. I wouldn't have to worry about, okay, I have to set up all these lights, and I have to set up the camera, and I have to set up the, the my iPhone to tape myself, and I have to make sure rehearsals are good. You know, I've got all of that done. And so my goal with this video is to suggest that if you can figure out ways to make the setup for something as easy as possible. We teach this in the, the courses. Uh, we teach this in uh, coaching. We teach this, you know, this, this whole deal of uh, authenticity, first and foremost, authority, for second, and then agility. And we do that because you want to be authentic, first and foremost. You want to be uh, authoritative so that people trust what you say and you have the facts on your side, and then you want to be agile. And agile is kind of like, kind of forgotten in some cases. And people will make mistakes and make excuses like, oh, I don't want to go and set all that stuff up. But if it was already set up and all you had to do is like move it into place, or you just had to make some minor adjustments, maybe you had to turn it on, that was the only thing you had to do, it makes it much more likely that you'll do it and that you'll do it well because you don't have to think about the final result and whether or not how you've set up your equipment matters. So being agile is a real big thing to work towards so that you can get things ready to go. If right now you have things kind of off on a shelf and you have to set up every time, you can see how that would be a little bit more difficult to actually get jobs done because you got an extra step every, every moment along the way. So tell me what you think about all this because I'd love to know if, this is something that you've discovered. If this is something that you've discovered but you can't quite figure out, and in that case, you know, let me know, ask questions, we'll do a video on it in the future. Um, or if it's something that you, you know, kind of feel like I do, it's your secret weapon. Like your agility is your secret weapon. 
Uh, leave a comment in the comment below, especially if you're watching on VO2Gogo.com. That's where the comments are sane and moderated and the conversation is really nice. Uh, if you'd like to sign up for my mailing list, I'd love to have you. Look for a box below this video that says sign up for the list. And if you'd like to see the latest episode of these videos that I'm doing, go ahead and click on that frame there and YouTube will play it for you. I'm David H. Lawrence the 17th. I'm going to bed now. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>